Well, Ricky, we have a special treat this morning Mm -hmm. in studio with, I think, just about everybody here in Omaha, it seems like, that's important. (laughs) Uh, The Omaha Symphony is here. Good morning. Good Good morning. morning. In key, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm not going to stop you guys. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, so we have, uh, well, D- uh, Ricky, I guess, as the case may be, uh, Adams. We have Tiffany Haas. Good morning. Yes, how good to see you. Kevin Wartman is in as well. Siri Howard, how are you? I'm doing great. Yeah, and Ernest, boy, good to see you again. Good to see you, too. It's great to be here. Yeah, fantastic. So if I had a hat, I'd take it off, and I would tip it to you guys for that show on Saturday. We were there. Phenomenal. (laughs) Yeah, it's really amazing. A lot of fun. Really upbeat and heartwarming and exciting. And I brought my six-year-old girl, and I get a little nervous because she doesn't have the patience that some people have. And she was riveted. The whole show loved it. Good. Awesome. That is great to hear. So, Ernest, we start with you. Okay. um, Because uh, we know we pulled you off the slopes to bring you in to do the show. (laughs) Yes, you did. The Christmas celebration for the Omaha Symphony. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, That's a hobby of yours, but I would imagine being here at the symphony of this time of the year is is key for you. It's home. Yeah. You know, it it, it is really where I feel the, the opportunity to spread Christmas cheer, to take the sound of the orchestra, to create this... These, all these wonderful Christmas cards and to work with these amazing performers. I'm telling you, the four people you have here, gold. Total gold. <laughs> uh, we actually had a chance to hear uh, Ricky and Siri and Kevin came in for our adopt family. Thank you again for that, by the way. Oh, yes, that was wonderful. Uh, it kind of gave a charge to everybody in the room. Mm-hmm. So it was very special. Thank you. Um, what brings you guys to Omaha? And we'll start right down the line. What What makes you want to come here as opposed to maybe a symphony in New York or a symphony in California? Sure. Um, I think something that's really special about this show in particular from our standpoint as singers is that we get to sing such a variety of styles you know part of why your daughter was so entertained mm-hmm. is like there is some, it changes every song is totally different and that's also exciting for us on stage that we get to flex our muscles in a way that oftentimes you do one symphony show and it's the same style of singing for two hours so it's nice to come here and you feel like you're pressing shuffle on your iPod and your voice right so. <laughs> and lots of costume changes yeah, very exactly. impressive yeah exactly. I second that. I second that emotion. <laughs> um, Everything's a song. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel the exact same way. We we get to do such a variety of material, and and Ernest does the most gorgeous arrangements, mm-hmm. and so it, we really have a golden opportunity to um, stretch ourselves and work on really beautiful material. And then it, you know, Omaha becomes our home for the month of December, you know, Omaha gets us in the Christmas spirit. So we ha- we end up having our little routines each time we come to town. We know, okay, we want to go to this place. We've got to go here. We've got to do this. We've got to do that. So it really becomes like our second home. Wow. And it's exciting to see a lot of the people within the organization um, from the players and the administration and the staff at the symphony that we've been here several times. And so to see your friends, we feel like this is part of our extended mm-hmm. family. Absolutely. So it's always nice to, like Ernest says, it feels like home. Wouldn't be Christmas without coming to Omaha and singing. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Ricky? Yeah, and I got to come here for the first time about two years ago. I did a Learner and Low concert. Um, it was just three singers, all Learner and Low, so like Brigadoon, My Fair Lady, Camelot, stuff like that. Um and it was a little bit of a blind date. You know, I had never, Ernest had met me in New York, but, you know, they take a little bit of a chance on you. Um, and I think it was just a very, uh, an, an immediate, great working relationship. Um, and so then the Christmas concert came up the following December, um, and then this is the second year of doing that. So uh, the, the players in the symphony, I mean, it's, it's first rate. You know, I mean, it's it's not like I mean the difference between a New York symphony, quote unquote, and Omaha, it, it, to me, is nothing. Mm-hmm. So it's it's a really great group. Thanks. I think there's so many levels on which uh, I can speak where this is such an, a fantastic place to be during the holidays, and like my fellow singers, you know, it's a phenomenal symphony to sing for. But I also think that, you know, the the people here are so wonderful. And yes, like Kevin said, it's like coming and seeing friends. And we feel that no matter who we're around, people we're meeting for the first time are so lovely and wonderful. And of course, the quality of the symphony is so high and Ernest's arrangements are amazing and he really tailors to our strengths which is very exciting a lot of times as singers we're trying to fit into someone else's idea of what it's supposed to sound like but Ernest has collected a group of people and found ways to make 
the arrangements work for our specific abilities. And sometimes that has challenged us because he perhaps has seen something in us that we haven't even seen in ourselves. <laughs> so he has pulled things out of us and gotten us to another level as singers and performers, and we get to do that all within a two-hour span. And that is so exciting. And of course, being with these amazing people sitting here with me today, are uh, you can't really compare that to anything else. It's really just a dream Experience. Look at him smile. <laughs> uh, praise is always nice. Well, the thing is that these folks are unbelievable artists and um, unbelievable people, and there's a there's an integrity and authenticity to what they do that you see in an audition. When, when we go to auditions, we hear so many great voices, and you know how do you choose this voice over that voice because they're all fantastic. But what you hear in these and what I, what I see them in their audition, even though it's a very short amount of time, is the kind of character that they've already revealed. And until you see them on stage, you don't know how authentic their performances are, but they are amazing people. So it's just so wonderful to have this opportunity. And we have this amazing director who isn't here right now. Um, his name is Parker Essie. And it's hard to say, it's hard to put into words how in demand he is and how fortunate we are in Omaha to be able to work with him. And the dancers he brings to this, this show are remarkable. They're unbelievable. They're, they're sort of the pinnacle of what humans can do in the dance world. And then what he has these guys do on top of that, I mean, these guys are, of course, amazing singers, but they can move. And this one over here... Yeah, not this one. <laughs> this one over here is a remarkable dancer. He's fine, too. <laughs> You're off the Christmas she, card Yeah, list. that's right. She'll take your breath away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ernest, you've got so many moving pieces during this show, and a lot of it I would think you would get... I mean, you've got kids, little violinists up on stage. You've got children not trained in percussion doing your bidding. You've got dogs up there. Do you get nervous about all this? Have you had things go incredibly <laughs> awry? No, oh, I, wow. I don't get Lucky. nervous. Things don't go awry. <laughs> um, it's it's just so much fun, yeah. and it's so. Um, I don't know why things don't go awry. It's Christmas. It's a, it's Christmas <laughs> miracles uh, okay. every moment. Um, and bringing in the bringing in all the age groups again. It, we we want to reveal all these uh, images of Christmas, whatever they are, for because everybody celebrates it differently. Everybody thinks about it differently. But seeing Christmas through the eyes of a child is to me one of the greatest gifts that I can possibly get. So I want to give that gift to the audience, and that's part of why we have those guys there. But also, they are achieving for them what these guys are achieving as Broadway singers. I mean, everybody's on a high level, on their highest level. Mm -hmm. And I think that energy is is what is so attractive about the show. Well, I'm going to ask you, and you guys can all chime in, but not only do you have to sing, which is probably your forte, but there's a lot of acting that goes into this. Do you find that intimidating? Do you enjoy that? How does that work? They well, go hand in hand. Absolutely. You, you, yeah. you can't sing a song that has beautiful words and lyrics without knowing what you're singing about and um, putting that meaning behind it. So I think for all of us, we would agree, you know, that, that goes hand in hand. Yeah. You, you act while you sing, you sing while you're acting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think the hardest moment for me in the show, and it's not because it's hard to tap into, but is the moment I play Santa. Spoiler alert. Um, <laughs> and uh, uh, there's, uh, you know, it's this whole mini musical about this kid who's, who wants to believe and wants to see uh, Santa. And at the same time, Santa and the people in the North Pole, um, the, the belief meter has run out and no one's left who believes anymore. And so we were trying to find that one person, the one. I, I keep doing air quotes on radio, which is not going to be helpful. What going to? You're okay. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, anyway, I play Santa and there's this moment where I come back at the end when the kid is supposed to see me and Tiffany's sort of blocking my eye line in that moment and she pulls aside and he looks at me and he has a little dog with him. And I like immediately the, the music swells and I... I struggle to have to sing that first line because it's it's such a beautiful moment, uh, and and like I was joking with I think both of you I was like all right what's the over under on 
like Ricky Crine. Yeah, <laughs> Ricky Todd Adams, not like Ricky. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, and literally, like every show, I really, really struggle with that that moment because it's just it's such a beautiful moment, and it's the sort of pinnacle of the piece. So it it's written so well and played so well and acted on my part so brilliantly. <laughs> 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 you know that it all it's just it a all great works. Moment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little let it go moments mm-hmm. in the uh, celebration this year. Mm-hmm. Was that something you expected? It well, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think it is one of those songs that is. Um, it's intimidating because it is so well known, but it's also an incredibly challenging piece to to sing. Um, so it was. It was really exciting for me to get to take it on, also knowing how exciting it is to perform a song that kids love and find so much joy and insight and excitement in, and getting to do it in a new way. Again, Ernest's arrangements are so phenomenal, and he has really put, and he has taken a very well-known song and made it fresh and new, and I think that's why people can say, well, why do we need to hear this song again? Well, this is why. Because there is something really beautiful and special about this particular arrangement. We have an amazing dancer who's on stage with me, Molly Tynes. She's phenomenal. So um, it's very exciting. Well, from two people who have played that song more than we play our weather jingle, (laughs) uh, it was nice to hear a different take on it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, and it made my six-year-old very excited. Oh, good to hear. Yeah, that's, she that's turned to me with this face like, oh, I know this one. <laughs> <laughs> very cool. Do you ever feel, Ernest, any pressure to not have the Dancing Santas? Is that always going to be a part of this? Or do you think someday that's going to be one of those, you know, this year we're going to take that out, we're going to put something else in its place? I believe the one year that we make that decision, we're going to get many cards and letters <laughs> saying, but, but where were the tap Dancing Santas? Yeah. So I have a feeling that that's going to be a mainstay. And you singing. You didn't sing last year. This is the first time, I think, that I recall anyway, that I've actually done that in a uh, Christmas show. It's here to stay. Yeah. Uh, okay, you, so you guys get it. It's the new dancing I thought, too. I thought, well, if he can take time out and sing, who's conducting? Do we even need a conductor? <laughs> well, what that, is your job? Yeah, that's, what every, that's what every orchestra <laughs> thinks. Do. do we need a conductor? <laughs> oh, she said that, not me. <laughs> Believe me, our, our eyes are glued to the baton. We need it. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't talked much about the symphony itself other than the fact that they're there, they're wonderful. How many members in the symphony? Well, it depends on the concert. You know, yeah. we have roughly 75 in, in this concert, so it's a full sound. It's a, it's a, um, the thing about a symphony is it's the sound that is so incredible. And when you hear the delicacy of just a few instruments playing or you hear this massive sound that the orchestra can create, to me, it's intoxicating. And what we want to do is create a world that is embraced by the sound of the orchestra. Now, the thing that's interesting to me about that whole notion is when I go to Broadway to, or to New York to listen to singers, I go to Broadway and see the shows. And a large orchestra, a large that everybody brags about orchestra on Broadway is maybe 30 pieces. And a standard wow. orchestra might be 17. So when you can take this wonderful style of singing and this wonderful style of music and dance and have it um, surrounded by the sound of a full symphony orchestra, it's something that doesn't happen anywhere else in the world and it's an amazing experience it's an amazing almost visceral experience i would say when you hear an orchestra of that caliber accompanying actors and singers of this stature it's it's unbelievable also you know marry that with it being presented in a hall that's designed to present music, live music. I mean, that's not necessarily true of a Broadway house, right? You have a lot of stuff dampening the noise, so like you're not getting that aural satisfaction like you are. In this and the hall. Holland Center is really yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's yes. it's an incredible place in which to perform. Don't you see why we want to keep coming back? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have game nights at our house occasionally. We should have a game night with you guys when yes! you're in town. Oh, you yeah. Guys, we we play that. board games and we, oh, yeah. We like Super charades. fun. Yes. Oh. Yeah, right. Did you ever play that one? Which one? Running charades. That is a way to get a party going. All right. So oh, yeah. if you guys have any downtime, and we have a feeling you'll be back next year, uh, we'll yes. schedule a game night, sit by the fireplace, and we'll Perfect. have some fun. That's That'd be awesome. Wonderful. I'll bring Jimmy Jones. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> in your spectacular performance. <laughs> You'll have to ring the pool. Oh, you've got his yeah. number. Definitely. Yeah, fantastic. Well, I mean, we can't say enough good things about the show. Tickets are still available. There's still performances still to be had here this weekend, right on through. Absolutely. Um, and uh, I tell you, the thing about it is there's new stuff. So anybody who said, well, I saw it last year. Yeah, no, totally you didn't. Different. Oh, yeah. Totally yeah. different. No, you didn't. And something for everybody, truly. Thanks again, Kevin, Tiffany, Ricky, Ernest, Siri. A pleasure as always. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much.